Number 47. Recently, a skeleton of King Richard III was found under a parking lot in England. Oh, how unfortunate. If tissue samples from the skeleton contained about 93.79% of the carbon-14 expected in living tissue, what year did King Richard III die? The half-life for carbon-14 is 5,730 years. Well, now that I got that out of my system, let's answer the question, shall we? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so poor uh, King Richard unfortunately passed away and was found under a parking lot. I did actually look this up, and it is true. <laughs> so, hey, you find new things every day. But anyway, they said that basically the tissue samples from the skeleton contained about 93.79% of the carbon-14 expected in living tissue. And we want to just find out what year did King Richard III die? And the half-life for carbon-14 is 5,730 years. Okay, so we're talking about kinetics, right? Especially if they're giving us half-life values. A half-life is represented by T with a subscript of a half. This is the amount of time for it takes for a sample to decompose to 50% of what it was. So if you have 100%, right, and uh, carbon-14 is 5,730 years as a half-life, it will take 5,730 years to go from a 100% sample down to 50. And then it will take another 5,730 years to go from 50 to 25%. So it just keeps breaking your last value by half and adding a half-life to that. So in this case, carbon-14... 5,730 years. Now, there's three different rate laws that we need to know as far as uh, formulas, right? There's zero order kinetics, first order, and second order. But we, in order to tackle this question, we first have to find out what order does carbon-14 decay at? And, you know, if the question was nice, it would say it explicitly somewhere in here that, hey, we're undergoing first or second or zero order kinetics, but nothing like that in this question. So how are we going to find out? The key here lies into what is decaying. We are decaying or talking about carbon-14. If you are talking about just a single element, so any single element that decays, so if you're talking about I don't know, nitrogen or oxygen or fluorine, right, or, or sodium or any other single element, uranium, right? All single elements will always abide by first order kinetics. And there is your answer. So if they don't tell you, you know, what order you're in, chances are it's going to be first order because they're going to give you a single element to work with. So now we have to bring in all of our first order kinetic equations. There's two. And that's these right here. So my first order equations are going to be my handy dandy half-life equation and the integrated rate law that depicts uh, initial amounts to final amounts. But in this case, um, they gave us a half-life, right? So here's the formula that, you know, uses the half-life equation. And this is probably the one that we're going to be using or wanting to use. Let's see. Let's bring this one up. Now, the question said, what year did King Richard III die? If we're asking for a year, that means that we're talking about a certain amount of time. And this time is not the half-life. This is just a, a random time in, in which, you know, we're talking about something decaying. So that's just going to be T. In this formula, you have the general T. Right? So that's what we're going to be solving for. And now we have these values. We have an A0 versus an A. An A0, 0 just means that no time has gone by. So A0 is always your initial amount. Now, initial amounts and final amounts, these could be in different units. You could talk about it in terms of percentages, fractions, grams, moles, molarity, um, but in this case, they said if the tissue samples from the skeleton contain about 33, sorry, 93.79%. Um, we're talking about percents here. And what is always the initial amount of any percentage? What's the starting full percentage? 
Yeah, you got it. It's always going to be 100%. This one is your final amount. And in this case, it's always the final amount that's remaining. It's not the ones that have been gone. So if we just read the question again, it says, this, the tissue sample from the skeleton contained about 93.79% of that carbon-14. So this is how much of the carbon-14 is left over. That's how much is remaining. So we know that this value is going to be 93.79. We're solving for x, which is t, but if we can use this formula, we need to have that k value, and the k value is the rate constant. But, unfortunately, they didn't give us the rate constant. So what are we going to do? Ah, that's where this equation comes in, finally. So we will always use the half-life equation to find out what the k values are. I'm just going to get rid of this. And the general formula is half-life equals 0.693 divided by k. Keep in mind that these are only for first orders. Um, so there's different half-life and different integrated rate laws for zero and second order. And in this case, we have to solve for k. So what we can do is we can just kind of do like a substitution here. And if we just rearrange this formula, the rate constant would be equal to 0.693 divided by the half-life. And they told us that the half-life was 5,730 years. So let's solve for k. k equals 0 0.693 divided by 5,730. Okay. <laughs> 0.693 divided by 5,730. And sure, we'll do 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth. And the units for first order for k values is always going to be what the, the uh, time is to the minus one. So in this case, since the half-life was in years, this would be years to the minus one. And that's what this number is gonna be now. We now know that the rate constant is gonna be 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth, years to the minus one. And now we can use this formula to Solve for t. So we're going to do ln of 93.79 equals negative 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth times t. I guess we'll say plus x, right? Or times x. Plus ln of 100. All right. So let's do ln of 93.79. We get 4.541 equals negative the 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth times the time. And then we'll do ln of 100. So we should, you know, simplify those ln's just to make it easy for us. Plus 4.605. Keep in mind that we want to get x by itself, so I'll subtract 4.605 from both sides. This will cancel, and I'm just going to take the full numbers here. So this minus this, we get negative 0 0.0641 equals negative 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth. And this is x, so just get x by itself. Divide on both sides by negative 1.209. Oh boy, 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth, negative 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth. And let's see, I'm gonna take this value and divide it by negative. And I guess I could grab the actual K value from all the way from the top. That's why I love the TI-84 because it just makes things easier, less room for error. And I'm gonna press enter and there we go. So in this case, we have x equals 530 years. Okay, so now we know that this, this you know, poor King Richard III has been decaying for 530 years. But now that's not going to answer the question of what year did he die. We know that he's been decaying. <laughs> so morbid. 
but anyway. Uh, he's been decaying for 5,000, just kidding, 530 years. Um, now, the question is, this is going to be a little bit different depending on when this question was written, right? Uh, when this question was written, maybe it was, I don't know, 2010? But in the year that I'm doing this question, the, 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 the year right now is 2023. 20, so, if we want to find out what year he actually died, we have to take the year that we're at and subtract 530 years. But just keep in mind that if this question, you know, was written in 2010, the answer is going to be a little bit different. So for our year that we're at, uh, 2023 minus 530, we're looking at roughly he was, he died around 1493. And if I can, let's see here. I'm just going to go, just going to do a quick little search on the best uh, web browser ever. And, ah, okay. His death was 1485. So his real death, maybe I'll put it down here. Real death, you know, real RIP was 1485. So if we take 1485 plus 530... We could say that, oh, wow, this this question was made in 2015. So so for our year that we're doing it, you know, we're a little bit off because we're in year 2023. So just, just know that the real year was 1485. Anyway, uh, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks so, so much. Um, yeah, you guys rock. Keep studying hard, always keep learning, and I will see you in later lessons. I won't see ya, but I'll talk to ya. All right? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.